Every day we are exposed to countless bacteria and viruses with the potential to become infections. How do we manage to stay healthy in such an environment? The answer lies in our immune system, which helps to guard our body against unwelcome guests. The immune system is comprised of many organs, tissues, and processes throughout our body. It is closely linked to our daily behaviors and emotion. What we eat, what we think, what we do every day all have an effect on the function of our immune system. Today we will learn how we can improve and maintain our immune system in its best condition. In recent decades, researchers have found that our diet has a close relationship with the immune system. The scientific study of diet and immunity is called nutritional immunology. Dr. Zhao Fei Chen, a renowned immunologist, is a pioneer in this new branch of research. Early in her career, she realized that diet and proper nourishment play important roles in the functioning of our immune system. She says that the best way to prevent disease and empower the immune system is by way of a balanced, natural diet. Let's join her now to learn more about nutritional immunology. Welcome. We are in Vancouver, British Columbia, Supreme Master Television. And we are very honored to have Dr. Zhao Fei Chen with us. And she's the founder of uh, Nutritional Immunology. Thank you. And uh, Dr. Could you tell us um, what exactly is nutritional immunology and how important is nutrition and the immune system? Nutritional immunology is a brand new science which studies the relationship between nutrition and the functioning of our immune system. So in our study, we're not studying into like what are the essential basic nutrients to support life, but rather we focus more on phytochemicals antioxidants and polysaccharides. What type of nutrients that actually affects our immune system? Today, we are not looking for basic survival. In our society, we are looking for how do we defend ourselves from illness, and also, more importantly, how do we have quality in our life, and how do we have longevity. So nutritional immunology is a science that tells us, that guides us, how we can live to be healthier and longer. After years of research, Dr. Zhao Fei Chun found that a plant-based diet is the best way to keep our immune system in a healthy and positive state. Plant foods contain abundant phytochemicals, antioxidants, and polysaccharides, which help the body protect itself against illness. A lot of the animal product, a lot of meat, in fact, lowers our immune function. Because we're finding that, you know, when I take in a lot of red meat, when I eat a lot of animal product, my body will start to secrete an agent. Once this is secreted, then it suppresses my immune function. Therefore, you know, our definition for nutrition in nutritional immunology the type of nutrient that will support my uh, immune system will be a lot of vegetables and fruits. Variety is always the very best. So there is no such thing as only this vegetable or only this plant is the very best. However, we're also finding, take for example, some food have a higher content of phytochemicals. Therefore, this food eventually, it supports better my immune system. So take for example, if we give me a choice between a tomato and an orange, mm -hmm. I choose the tomato. Why? It contains more phytochemicals. If you give me a tomato compared to a cactus, I choose the cactus because the cactus contains even more phytochemicals. So we would also study into which type. Some of the cactus, you cannot eat it because it's poisonous. Some of the type of plant, they have less nutrient compared to the others. But variety is always the very, very best guidance. We would also study into the part of the plant. Take, for example, grape. The grape seed contains a lot of antioxidants. The grape seed antioxidant is stronger than vitamin E, 
vitamin C is about 50 times stronger. So we will say, okay, this part of the plant is better. Then the mushrooms contain the polysaccharides. So, you know, in our study, we would encourage variety. So the more color you have, the better it is for your immune system. Today's Healthy Living program features immunologist Dr. Chao Fei Chun. One major concept of nutritional immunology is prevention over cure. According to Dr. Chun, a lifestyle with a balanced diet, stable emotional life, proper exercise, and plenty of rest will maximize immune system function and help us enjoy long lives of health and well-being. So from a cellular point of view, we're finding about two to three times more natural killer cells as compared to a meat lover. Then, according to scientific research, 
humans ourselves, it should last us for 150 years old. So even if we don't get to 150, at least we should get to 120. So basically you're saying um, moderation, um, no stress either ways, and what do you think so maybe um, spiritual development would help in that, some kind of um, spiritual outlook in life that would calm yourself down with that? Yes. It, it can be a spiritual thing or, you know, for some people maybe doing some yoga, mm -hmm. some people may be doing some meditation, mm -hmm. just anything that would maintain a stable emotional status mm -hmm. is always good for your immune system. Right. Where do we, we get angry? We get nervous, mm -hmm. whether we like it or not. So what do we do? If you are angry, if you are nervous, and you know that your immune system is down, you know that your immune system is system is down due to the fact that you're secreting this hormone, then what you need to do is you need to go and exercise. You need to go and really exercise to sweat, perspire, because when you're exercising, when you're perspiring, then you'll be able to excrete out the corticosteroid. And then after that, try to be happy. And we're trying to research into the different type of vegetables, mm -hmm. the fruits, and so we're trying to prove that nature is the best. Mm -hmm. Nature gives you a lot of wisdom that we, even as scientists, we're finding it very, very amazing. So it's right there. Yeah, it's nature just right there. Mm -hmm. Nature has it. Mm -hmm. So every time I would look at a broccoli, mm -hmm. every time I look at an orange, it's a miracle mm -hmm. by itself. Because why? You know, sometimes you know, a lot of my friends, they would say, well, you know, I take a lot of vitamin pills mm -hmm. so that give me enough nutrients. But this is the way I look at it. And it's been proven by you know, a lot of the research we're doing. Mm -hmm. Vitamins by itself as a pill, it gives a side effect. Mm -hmm. you know, an overdose of vitamin C, it actually lowers our immune system. It doesn't increase it, it lowers it. An overdose of vitamin C increases the iron content, mm -hmm. make us even more prone to getting cancer mm -hmm. and heart disease. Mm -hmm. Vitamin A is really bad for pregnant women, mm -hmm. an overdose of it. Mm -hmm. So after much research, we're finding if the vitamin is naturally inside the orange, if it's naturally inside the carrot, as a force of food. The structure, the molecular structure is different because it's linked to the other vitamins, mm -hmm. to the other nutrients. So the overall structure is different. It doesn't have any side effect. Mm -hmm. But if I isolate it out of the orange, then mm -hmm. it's not linked to the other nutrient. Mm -hmm. It causes side effect. Another way to look at it, a simpler way to look at it, I look at it this way. An orange is made by God. Mm -hmm. A vitamin pill is made by men. Mm -hmm. Something created by the nature, something created by God, it would always be better mm -hmm. than something made by men. It's amazing what a dramatic positive effect a plant-based diet can have on our health and well-being. With a well-functioning immune system, fueled by a variety of fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts, and seeds, we can greatly increase our chances of enjoying our life to a ripe old age. Many people say that genetics are related to um, cancer and heart disease. How do you link nutrition and genetics? Or is there? Well, there is a link and there is no link. Okay, from our statistics, our research, we're finding that as far as cancer is concerned, 40% of cancer, it can be prevented by changing our diet. Okay, so out of this 40%, take for example, we're finding that if we can just change our diet to more plant-based, rather than a lot of dairy product, a lot of meat, okay, then you're going to be able to prevent up to around 75% of cancer associated with the colon, with the digestive system, 
about 50% cancer related, related to the lungs mm -hmm. and about 50% breast cancer, 66% liver cancer. That is if we can maintain a very good diet, a healthy diet. Mm -hmm. So we can prevent up to 40%. What does that mean? That means about 4 million people a year, they don't have to get cancer. Right. Yeah, that's a big, big number. Even if there is something in our genes that causes cancer, mm -hmm. for example, mm -hmm. okay, but we still got an immune system. So even if the cancer cells actually appear, if my immune system is actually functioning properly, before you even notice it, before we can detect it in our health screen checks, your immune system should have destroyed it already. So your immune system can even prevent you, can even defend you from a lot of the diseases, even if it's genetically related. Dr. Zhao Fei Chun's dream is to bring the concepts of nutritional immunology to everyone in the world. She works to achieve this dream through her speeches, books, and education programs. When talking about the future, she feels very optimistic. I feel very hopeful. Why? Mm -hmm. Because today, you know, maybe in the past 10 years, 20 years ago, you know, as an immunologist at that time, very few people know about the immune system. You know, people would ask me, so what's your profession? I would tell them, I'm an immunologist. They would ask me, well, what is an immunologist? Mm -hmm. But today, we're paying more attention to our immune system. So I think that is a good sign. Now, then the second thing is people are getting more educated. You know, we are starting to realize that medicine, that drugs, they do have a side effect. And we're realizing that, look, we can actually, our body can cure ourselves. That our immune system is there to protect us. Whereas maybe you know before, a lot of people would think if you're sick, your only option use drugs, and that's it. And then whatever you the food that you're eating doesn't affect you. But today we're realizing that it actually affects us. So I'm very hopeful. I'm hoping that more people will get into the field, that we will be able to bring even more scientific evidence on what we eat and how it affects our immune system. So with all the scientific proof, I'm sure we'll be able to educate even more people. And then maybe we'll be able to change our lifestyle. Nutritional immunology provides us with an effective means to prevent illness. With a healthy and balanced plant-based diet, a relaxed emotional life, and proper exercise and rest, we can avoid most diseases and enjoy long, healthy lives. We thank Dr. Zhao Fei Chun for her efforts in improving the well-being of all people by sharing the concepts of nutritional immunology. May everyone on our beautiful planet enjoy a healthy, natural, and joyous life.